We're live. What up? Let's get weird. It's your boy, Tommy G, here with the Friday edition of the Stay Cash and Show. Monster show for you today. A lot of giveaways going on. Head to the chat right now. Put exclamation point free, and you will be in the raffle. We are offering off two bowl guides and two free weeks today, Bill Rupp. That is four things. Two plus two is four things we're going to be raffling off today. So uh, we may be raffling off through the show. So do not leave. Maybe at the end. You don't know. You got to stay here. This hour is going to be banging. We got NBA, college football bowl game preview. Howie's coming on. Mike's coming on for UFC, NFL, fucking you name it. We got it covered today. So do not go anywhere. We are not going to bullshit too much. We're going to get right to the plays. A lot of bets. I got four college basketball games, three or four bowl bets, and a hockey bet, plus the NFL bets that we got coming. So Bill Rupp, how are you doing today, my friend? Doing very well. I mean, would you like to speak about anything from last night's game? Um, I mean, really, there's not much to be said that Bill Rupp was right and uh, 99.99% of the world was wrong. All right. Well, no. Um, CMC, was right. completely, CMC completely dominated dominated that when game. 99% of the world was on CMC. No, you guys I was were, the one who was wrong. No, no. Everyone said he was going to No, shoot. everyone bet CMC. No, no one did. No one did. <laughs> And um, How many people on this show bet CMC last night to score or do something? Yeah, because I put out a max bet on it. <laughs> and what you else? got lucky, by the way. You got a fucking fumble at the end of the half to put the ball to five to get him in. No, no luck involved. He dominated the game. And if you're a member of 4DBets.com, you got like 16 winners that we got off of CMC and punt Man, in the first awesome. quarter. The receptions uh, CMC and catch on the first drive plus 130 CMC catch on the second drive plus 110 how was that plus CMC money plus 100 on the third drive the only one he didn't get on the first drive was the minus 135 <laughs> how was he plus, plus money to get a catch on every drive the first four uh trips for Seattle was punt so we hit all those I mean it was insane we absolutely fucking killed it yesterday killed NBA missed the fucking one prop by one assist, and the game went into overtime. So that was fucking ridiculous. Um, Conley couldn't get to one assist. Hero killed it. He had 10 threes. We were hitting that during the game. Uh, Bruins won, Niners won, and Tommy was right. Uh, Bruins, uh, it, the Bruins didn't win. They didn't win? We lost in shootouts. Yeah, shootout. Oh, okay. Well, Bill, Rupp, Bill Rupp's shootout curse continues. Uh, the Devils said lost, so I was already off that. I had hedged out. Anyway. I will uh, take my victory lap there that I told you to get off that fucking train, and you didn't get off it, and now it crashed on you. So are you officially done with the Devils for a few days? Yeah, four in a row. Um, How many days probation are they on? I'm just done with them for now for a while. Okay. But, so uh, Bill Ace Rupp's King in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Rackets <Ace> laughing. <laughs> Bill, he's probably done for two months. Ace King in the chat. Ace King we'll in see the them chat. The no, you won't see the devils. <laughs> Ace King in the chat today. Bill, we're going to hedge? Yeah, we're going to fucking hedge. So we got a plus 80, 180, and we made more money than the bet. All right. There you go. Out. And Geno Smith rushing over 15 and a half was easy as hell. I cashed also. So we completely killed it yesterday. All right. And yeah, I, had a, I mean, I had a, uh, I fell asleep, Bill, on the phone with you in the middle of the San Fran game. I just don't even watch primetime games anymore. So, uh, I know just from the max bets, I think I split the max bets with Jennings and Godwin. Um, won the teaser, I believe. Lost. I mean, basically went back and forth and then didn't hit the mayhem. And the hockey put out three plus money hockey plays, plus 150, plus 150, plus 108. Went two and one there. College basketball, we won Stony Brook. We won Santa Clara. And the one game on the show I said that I was flip-flopping on, Seattle lost. So two and one in college basketball, two and one in NHL. I don't even care about football. That's just fucking degenerate shit. Uh, but split the max bets in football. And uh, ready to rock right now. Right now we got Miami of Ohio getting 11 points. There's eight minutes left in the game. They're down four. They're at the 20-yard line of UAB. You'll hear me screaming throughout this whole game. Bull guide me. Let's go. Let's go. Up to the 10. Me and Howie both have a Miami of Ohio. I actually have a small stab on the plus 340 for Miami of Ohio. And we got a game coming up at 3 o'clock, I believe, Evan, right? Uh, Louisville's at 3. You just say, yeah, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 3 o'clock. We have UTSA versus Troy. Uh, I think I wrote Louisville in the thing there, uh, E. If you could just change that, uh, that's going to be UTSA. So me and Howie are on opposite sides of that one. That's one of the only ones we're on opposite sides of. We're on the same games tomorrow. And uh, we will talk about that. So the bowl guide is available. Get it now. $49. We have a promo code, BOWL20. 
It's me and Howie write paragraphs. Everything you need to know about these games as they come up is there. And it uh, looks like we're getting off to a hot start. Rackets, how are you doing today? I am fantastic, Tommy G. That is good. You got your Niners hat on. You got your nice little win. And you, you got rid of the Bills, got rid of the Colts, and now you're back on the Niners. Yep, we're back on winners. How do you think about that, Bill? I mean, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my red and white again. I wore it, I think, a week ago. I'm wearing it again now from Miami, Ohio. So hopefully we can get in the box here. Evan, how are you doing today? Um, I would be a hell of a lot better if Mike White was playing on Sunday. But I'm, I'm happy. Just, I want to see Zach come out. That, that fucking team is a disgrace, bro. They're purposely keeping him out. He's no, it's to, no. Uh, uh, Zach Wilson is playing this week. Yeah, but he's going to get second and third opinions because there's a conspiracy going on in the Jets organization that they want. They don't want White starting. The coaching staff wants him. The players want him, but uh, the doctor and the owner doesn't. Well, I'm mm-hmm. hearing conflicting reports that there's other doctors who are saying he could be out for the rest of the regular season. Well, he will find a doctor that will clear him to play. And once that happens, they are in fucking trouble. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, the banner on the bottom is touchdown Miami, Ohio. Let's fucking go. I mean, anybody who bets at a 1030 in the morning football game is a complete psychopath. This is a bowl game, you idiot. It's the first I mean, bowl you, game. I mean, like. Are you retarded? This is literally the first bowl game. Who the fuck wants to wake up at 11? It's 1130 a.m. Yeah, they got to wake That's up at 10 with kids. You're going to be betting kids. on soccer Sunday at 9 a.m. Yep. Oh, that game's not being played at 9 a.m. As you told me it's many times. It's 9 a.m. It's not being What do you mean? Is it 9 a.m. for you? And in London, this game started at fucking 4 p.m. Oh, where is it? This game's not in the States? No, I'm just telling you. Time is relative to where you this are. This game is in the Who States. Who gives a fuck where it's playing? What do you mean? College kids getting up to no, play yeah. football at 11 in the morning. I That's why you take the dog. That's what I'm saying. There's an edge to that. Yes, that's why it's an uncomfortable environment. If you actually go to the uh, Tommy G. Howie Dewey Bowl Guide, you can go to bullet point number uh, three in the Bowl Guide, unfamiliar opponents and environments, and we talk about going to new places. Am I allowed to get into that Bowl Guide? You are not. Guess where this is being played, Bill? In the Bahamas. Racket, you want to split it? Yeah, this, yeah, you guys, I'll give you, use bowl 20. You guys can pay $20 each. Anybody want, in the chat wants to go in with me and Rackets? No. <laughs> 15, 15 of us will each put in a couple dollars. Yeah, just do a box, <laughs> do do a box pool Tommy. on TikTok, Bill, for just a dollar. Tommy G. <laughs> Fucking TikTok raffle. Do a TikTok Half raffle. Around. Did I win my bulldog, Bill? It's still going on. What? Did you see the thing I sent you today? No, I, I was busy writing thing. the bowl guide. Today, he just dropped off the one puppy in L.A. So oh, people, yeah? Oh, it was awesome. They were oh, going yeah, but For those of you that don't know, I got drunk the other night and entered a raffle. I cash app some stranger $50 in a box pool for a French bulldog. This guy's making five grand on a box pool. He's a fucking genius. I just, stranger, he's probably going to have his best friend win it and just keep the money. No, but, he's, uh, he's doing legit shit, though. It he's seems doing- like it. So I may have a French bulldog. I have a 1% chance of having a French bulldog by Monday. Rackets. Do you think? How long do you think that bulldog's in my house? Until something goes wrong or it ends up in Bill's house, uh, I said three weeks and then it's Bill's because I right. told I said Bill I told Bill, I asked Bill if he was going to put fifty bucks in, and I and then he's like no, and I was like hey, <clears> just <throat> save the fifty bucks you'll end up with it anyway. It's when the beauty of it is candy. Bill's dog Bill's pit loves small dogs, so this is perfect. When Bill lives up the fucking street, so when I go out on my vendors and disappear for two days, I can just drop fucking drop. I may name them Rupp. You know, just fucking <laughs> drop fucking Ruppy over at Bill's house. And fucking, you can keep him for two days and I'll pick him up when I get back. It's, Bill's going to be happier than picking shit. He loves little dogs. So it'll be perfect. So hopefully I win a bulldog. Don't want to spend too much time on headlines. I want to get to the bets. But I know Rodon just went to the Yankees. Rackets, what's your take on that? Uh, it's the best move they could have made. Awesome, right? I think it's 100%. the best signing The best signing in baseball. And so the craziest came out of nowhere. Like, yeah, I- Honestly, I don't know. Like with all the crazy money that everybody else has gotten in free agency, I was expecting his deal to be like near two hundred million for at those least, six years. At least, at least. So at the least. fact that they got like him for a really good. What was the was the final deal? Six, six for, for one sixty or something. I yeah. thought he was getting ten for three hundred. I mean, I thought he was getting a fucking huge. Tommy, contract. if you by comparison, CC Sabathia back in two thousand nine signed six seven years for one sixty one. 
Right. So it's one less year for the same amount of money. 13 yeah. years later. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like that's it. Awesome. We need a lefty. I keep saying you need fucking lefties. You need to turn those lefties around in Yankee Stadium, make I, them bat righty. So I said today, I think that they have the best one two punch in baseball. No, it's good. We need a lefty pitcher. That's why Nestor thrived. You know, all these switch hitters, you got to spin them around. You can't the have these guys batting lefty about, at that park. The only one I'm worried about is Montas. I don't know if he could pitch in New York yet, but we'll see. It was not now that he's important. a five. Now he's a five. The bottom line is he's the hole in left field and third base. They're going to be starting right now. If Severino comes back healthy, you're looking at Cole, Severino, Nestor, and Rodon. I mean, it fucking doesn't matter. They're going to sign a a left field in the Rockets. That's their next year. Yeah. I mean, listen. Hendy wants five years, though. I'm able to root for the Yankees again now this year. They were about to lose me. I think they signed Rodon just because they were going to lose me altogether. So they re signed Judge. (laughs) They brought in Rodon. I'm still not going to be a Yankee fan because of Aaron Boone. But at least I don't have to completely I mean, listen, burn all my shit. The Mets gave Verlander, a 40-something-year-old pitcher, all that money. Um, and they wanted Texas, Rodon. Texas gave a guy uh, who hasn't pitched 200 innings in, like, fucking seven years all that money. You know, yeah. even though DeGrom is the great best pitcher deal in baseball. For it's a great deal. But this Rodon deal came out of nowhere, like you said. I, and I think it's amazing. And uh, he's been, like, top three pitcher the last two or three years. So Yeah, that's fucking awesome. So, uh all right. Uh, any other headlines here before we switch gears? Oh uh, yeah, I don't believe your mic is working. I think you're using the computer audio right now. Me? It's on a little boxy. Yep. Do I? Um. Anyway, we Hold need on. to like Let the video. There's almost it. 200 people in here. We have to like the video. If you want all four of these giveaways, we have to get. I mean, at least 125 likes. At least. I would say 50. That's better. Evans the boss. Better. Dude. What was that? You sound better. Hold on. That was speakers. Uh, microphone. How about now? Is that better? Oh, that's so much better. better. Oh, All right, cool. okay. there it is. Wow, it was see, that bad. I know one. Why, why is Evan the only one that says something? The, because last time I learned from my mistakes. Because last time you said we were all fucking idiots for not saying anything and letting yeah. you go the whole show. Fucking say so, something. Like, fucking Bill Rackets. I'm talking. I just thought you had some like cum in your throat or something. I got 15 <laughs> different fucking microphones. All right. No, how do I feel? Well, on? welcome to Stay Cash and Show. Uh, yeah, so I can't fucking hear myself. So, uh, all right, cool. So, what'd you say, Evan? Uh, like the goddamn video. If you want four of these giveaways. Like the giveaways, goddamn video. If you want all four of the right? giveaways, we have to get to 125. We got to get to 200. Least, we got to get 150 at least. 150 for 107. four? 107. Yeah, 150 107. They're, they're doing good. So don't yell at them today. Like, see, when they do good to start, just don't, you know, be nice to them. Good job, guys. Good, good job. job. Let's get more. All right, Let's but, get more. All right. Once we get, get to, if we get to 150, then we'll do one more. I mean, more. we're already giving away four. We don't need to give away more. We'll do one just, more. No, just get to 150 because we're giving away four. That's what you're doing. Okay. You don't get any more. You get to 200, we'll give another one. We've already got to 200 before. Push higher, E. They're not children. A Fucking thousand. smack them. A thousand. thousand <laughs> likes and Bill will give you his dog. Rackets, I think I pulled a muscle today bringing in the groceries. All right, we ain't got time for that. Of we ain't got time for that. All right, comes any other headlines? <laughs> no. All right, let's get to fucking Howie Dewey. Let's get to some fucking college football right, here. Now I can go. I'm going to go upstairs. Yeah, go take a nap. You and Rackets go take shoulder. a nap. Wait till Howie comes in. Make sure he's here. You want to crip? Bill, why don't, Bill, why Bill, why don't you crip walk out of here? Hold on. Why, why not? Let, let Howie say some funny shit. Why don't you shut up? Let's, I can't be mean to you, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, you just yelled at me. I, said, you just yelled I stopped at me. myself. You just stopped yelled at me. My- I stopped myself. I said yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. We had a bet. Bill told me last night that if Christian McCaffrey scores, he won't yell at me all day tomorrow. And he's already yelled at me twice. I just said I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's going to be nice to you. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, Howie's joining right now. It looks like he's still connecting. He'll be here in a second. So make sure you guys get over. 4DBets.com. Get over there. Buy the fucking bowl guy. Just the cheapest fucking thing we've ever done. It's $40 with Bowl 20 if you're not a subscriber. 40 fucking bucks. And we're doing two full paragraphs. I got five bets. We have five bets on the Florida game alone tomorrow. So you're getting 100 bets. For $40. This should be just a stay cash and tip. Just buy it as a thank you. If you guys do buy the monthly subscription, okay? So if you buy the monthly subscription on 4 Deep Bets, you're getting the bowl guide free because we take care of our fucking people. So anyone who has a monthly subscription on the site currently or anyone who buys the monthly subscription, you're getting the $50 bowl guide for free. So get over there, buy the fucking bowl guide. Thank Howie Dewey for doing all his fucking hard work. Howie's writing. I was writing paragraphs. I didn't even know he could type. Howie, I didn't know you knew how to write. I'm like fucking Edgar Allan Poe, baby. Yeah? Wow. All right. James Mishner just writing novels. I mean, fuck, dude. I did a fucking eight ball, and Howie woke up like, where did all that come from? 
Yeah, that was crazy. You literally yeah. wrote like an Ernest Hemingway novel in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> How he gets the text at six in the morning from me going, I don't know if I'm going to be awake. So here you go. You were like, I love Louisville so much. I love the Cardinals. I just, since I was a kid, I love little red Cardinals. I love birds. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's how the paragraph would start. Then he get back to football. <laughs> so we got twenty to seventeen. Howie Dewey, Tommy G. Howie Dewey, first consensus pick. Howie already hit a winner with Navy. Already hit a winner with the under in the Armed Forces game. Now we both got plus eleven, and I'm sweating my plus three forty here, Dewey. I mean, hey, uh, Miami looks like they're gonna win. I like we said. Look, look, we said it. These kids are from Miami of Ohio. They're from a small shit Ohio. You know how happy they They're are to be up. down at Bahamas? Half, half this team's probably not going back to Ohio. They're going to get bartending jobs down in, uh, <laughs> in the Bahamas. They have, like, Joey Zolzowski and his best friend, uh, Freddie Konkak. They'll be, like, getting bartending jobs in the Bahamas for the next year. They won't graduate. They're not going back to Miami. Listen, as long as they get the job done for us, that's all I care about. Yeah. So let's start with college football here. Uh, great start to the guide, fucking making money right out the gate. Uh, so next game coming up right now. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to give you the whole weekend of bowl games because you got to fucking pay for it because we're spending a lot of time on this fucking thing. We're breaking news in this guide to the minute. So Howie broke the fucking UAB running back news before I even got it official. He fucking called me up, told me UAB running back's going to be out. That was in the guide. we got a game coming up right now. We're going to give you that for free right now. And we're going to give you the first two games tomorrow for free. All right? So we're going to go through three games real quick right now, Howie. We got a game coming up at 3 o'clock. This is the only game thus far that me and you are on opposite sides of. The money's been going crazy. There's probably something going on that we don't know about. I'm on UTSA, and we got it at minus 150. Uh, I believe that's the number we got in the guide. Are you still on Troy, or would you advise people to lay off? Where are you at? I'll tell you what. If I'm in your position, your situation, you like UTSA, and that line's gone from minus 1.5, I mean – Plus 1.5 to minus 3. Minus 3 – you got to like where you're feeling. You right. got to like this. We Actually, we got 135 was the line, minus 135, I mean, right? This looks good in your corner. My position on this, uh, I followed Troy State for many years where they were Division II school, went 1AA, went 1A, upset Nebraska uh, years ago. Nebraska had a loaded team. They've sent numerous studs to the NFL and they play well in these bowl games, man. Mm-hmm. They 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 play well. They got they got good athletes there, uh, good coaching. I I think it's gonna be a good game. All right, so you're holding strong. So you're still good with the Troy pick. Yeah, I think it's be. A, you're gonna see a high scoring game. Both All right, ways. so so we're on opposite sides of this, but again, I don't think either of us have it as huge bets. Neither of us have it as a max bet. You got two units on. No. We got three units on it. Uh, let's move over to the tomorrow morning game. Bill loves Howie. I don't know if you've caught on. Bill is a big fan of 11 a.m. games. And tomorrow morning, we got an 11. Bill, are you going to be watching the 11 a.m. Louisville game tomorrow morning? I won't be watching it, nor will I be betting it. All right, so 11 a.m. Bill doesn't like it, Howie. Me and you love it. Let's wake and bake. What are we I doing do. on this game? Me and you are on the same exact side. Louisville laying one and a half to Cincinnati, 56 total. This is fucking gross. This game's being played in a baseball stadium. They're going to all be on the same fucking sideline, and there's injuries out the fucking ass. So tell these people why they should bet on Louisville. I'm going to tell you right now. First of all, if they if you could, I, they should have a line. Vegas should make a line today on whether or not there's a fight, because I would I would take it. I think the percentages. I think these teams probably get in a bench clearing brawl. They hate each other. They're rivals to begin with. They're in Boston. They're going to be out till four thirty in the morning, getting hammered. Someone will get arrested. Um, you got the head coach. From from Louisville, where does he leave and go to? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> I mean, you you can't play this up better. I can't believe that they actually put these two in a bowl. It's awesome. All these kids went to high school together. They're all rivals. They all know each other. They're separated by a river. Right. Um, and, and they're playing in Boston. You bring them to the the worst. It's gonna be a rowdy crowd. To just a terrible football stadium. But dude, Bill, do you know this? Both teams are on the same sideline tomorrow. That's crazy. They're going to, it's a baseball stadium, so they're both going to be within feet of each other, and they You're hate going to see a fight. Probably There's the going to be a brawl. I, the even do that. I mean, they had to because they had to, to get the game at Fenway, I guess. They didn't have the logistics in the stadium to to stack both sides, so they're all on one fucking side. It's going to be fun. Yeah. But, uh, so, so how much do you like this, and what do you think the edge is here, Howie? Um, I do. I do like – I like Louisville uh, – 
I like Louisville because I just think the motivation is there. They're yeah. like, son of a bitch left us, left us to go to Cincinnati. Are you, yeah. of all the colleges in the country, you're going to the college uh, a couple miles away, across the road. Mm -hmm. I think Louisville is going to be out for blood. Yeah. I mean, I'm if waiting. you look at this, they don't have a ton of guys that are opting out. Most of their guys are playing in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I do like them. I do like them. I think they're going to come out, and this, this is going to be a crazy game. It's going to be a fun game. There's going to be some live betting opportunities on this game, obviously. Uh, get over to 4 com, sign up for the monthly package. You get the bowl guide, go do that, and we'll be in there fucking popping the live bets left and right. Uh, there are some injuries here and some people that are be missing, basically, from the transfer portal, the coach. Uh, Louisville is going to be missing Malik, their quarterback, yeah. so that's well, not a – if not, they'd be a bit much bigger favorite in this one. So don't. Oh, he was out. oh wow! He missed a lot of games during the year too. So yeah, yeah, they've played without him for multiple yeah. games. I think they played the last two games without him. Uh, they're going to be missing their running back. They're going to be missing a wide wide receiver uh, and some other guys. Since he's going to be missing their quarterback too, they're going to be missing a wide receiver and a tight end. So both these teams are kind of messed up. Both teams lost their coaches. It comes down to what Howie said. Cincinnati this time last year. These players outside of Ritter and Sauce Gardner and the ones who are in the pros right now, the ones that are still there, these players are allowed to play for eight years since COVID now in college. They were playing for the national championship last year, Howie. Cincinnati was in the fucking biggest of bowl games. They lost some top talent. They didn't think they'd be playing on fucking day two of the bowl season, though. That's for damn sure. So motivation for Louisville. Louisville didn't make a bowl in 2020. They fucking lost last year to Air Force. And now these kids, this is their maybe their only chance to win a bowl game. They were six and six last year. They're seven and five this year. Not a big letdown. They're going to be jacked up for this. And the big thing is what Howie said. Their coach just left to go to fucking Cincinnati. This is like if you're fucking, you know, you're you're fucking run into a bar and you're going to fight the guy who stole your wife, right? So, I think the advantage is Louisville here. The other thing about this is we did have one of those three point move scenarios. I put it in the bowl guide for those of you that have it. You've already read it. Team lines that have moved three plus points during the bowl season since 2017 or 68%. And we saw a four point move on the line here through the zero here. So I like Louisville in this one, how he likes Louisville in this one. Uh, we're going to be on that. The two we're going to give you for free tomorrow, Oregon state and Florida. That was one of them. This is the other one, Oregon state, Florida, how he mean you are on the same side of this one again. And this is one of my favorite bets of the bowl season. It really is. It is me too. So tell him why. I mean, I, I like him on the money. Like, first of all, you know, uh, Florida start off the year. They don't have a great team. They got a great, had a great quarterback. They start off the year. Who do they beat? They beat the Pac-12 winner. They beat Utah to start things off with the Pac-12. Uh, Oregon State's not as good as Utah. No. I mean, people will say, yeah, but you know what? Uh, uh, Florida's quarterback is out. He is. The kid that's stepping in is a transfer from Ohio State. He's Jack Miller. Crazy. He's solid. This kid's a solid quarterback. I mean, I'd say more than solid. Howie, you know more about him than I did. I had to look him up over the last few days. Right. But this kid was fucking recruited by everyone, Ohio State. He just, he played for Ohio State. He just couldn't make the field, which makes sense. They had a Heisman Trophy candidate this year. And and he's been hurt. So it's not like he's been behind him because he was benched or not good when uh, the pedo, who's the fucking pedophile kid? Joe Kitna's son? Yeah, Kitna's son. He's got child fucking porn charges or something going on. Yeah. But he wasn't sitting behind Kitna because he wasn't good. He was hurt. He just started throwing again three, four weeks ago. So you could have a superstar walking in at quarterback here for Florida. You, you may. And here's the thing. Both starting running backs. Are, and Etienne, the kid whose brother played at Clemson, he's starting. Uh -huh. The other good halfback is starting. They're going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball with success. And then they're going to open it up. This kid's going to have open 15, 20-yard passes. I, I think Florida puts up some big numbers in this game. Yeah, the thing I'm worried about here, obviously, Florida's got a little bit of a mess on the back end. Uh, they got fucking linemen, linebackers, quarterbacks out. Uh, defensively, they're not a great team against the run to begin with. So I think there's going to be a bunch of angles here. Right, I'm taking Florida plus 10 and a half. Uh, I got that as a max bet. Howie, I think you got it as a three-unit bet, which is the biggest you've done. You don't do five units as much as I do. I got Florida on the money line for a half unit plus 300. And I like the over on this one, over 52 and a half, Howie, because I think Oregon's going to be able to do whatever they want on the ground. And I think Florida should be able to do whatever they want through the air. And 52 and a half, I think this game top 60. And you got, you know, you got just SEC level athletes on both sides of the ball. You know, pe people say, you know, Florida's defense, they're lacking this. Like, look who they're playing. But man. against SEC they're running backs. Playing right? Georgia. They're playing South Carolina. They're playing Alabama. They're playing these solid teams. Who's Oregon State going up? Like a real tough one on a Thursday night in Arizona State? Come on. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what it is.
I'll give you that. I will tell you this, guys. There's four more games on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, there's games Monday before we get on air. Uh, the My only game tomorrow that I like bigger than Florida is the next game that's played after that. Howie's on the same side. We're not going to give it to you here. You got to buy the guide to find it out. But this is a big one. I actually am laying a little wood. I have a max bet, an alt line, and another alt line on the game that's played after that. So uh, get over there, 4 deepbetscom Use promo code BOWL20 to get our bowl guide, and you'll get all this information we're telling you here on paper. And you can fucking refer back to it. We update in red before the game. So check in 20 minutes before the games. See if there's any red updates. And if there's plays that aren't official, we'll just write lean. If it's official, you know, you'll see it in there. All right, well, let's run through a couple college basketball games before I let you go. Uh, not a great slate tonight, not a big slate, but I actually found four bets out of this small slate. So uh, I don't know where you're sitting at. Nice night for you. Uh, I think you had a good night last night, right? Went 2-0. and 2-0. Oh. Oh. Good night. Went won both. All right. Uh, tonight we uh, we pop off with, uh, I think, Georgetown's getting, what, 10, 11 against uh, Xavier. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Georgetown. I, I think they lose. They're ter- they're not good, but they rebound. They'll hit a three every now and then. They'll keep it close. They'll keep it under. Mm-hmm. Um, I like them. Uh, the later game, who the hell was it? Um, yeah, Tulsa, Mississippi Valley, Murray State, Austin P, Chicago State, Creighton, Weber State, Stanford, Green Bay, Oral, Missouri, Youngstown, Southern, Manhattan, Central Con. Why do you think about it? Why don't I give a couple out? So I'm going to give a couple of my plays here that I have for tonight. One of them is Stanford minus 23 and a half. Uh, I'm actually going to be weighing, laying the wood on this Stanford team here. Uh, I think this is a decent spot for them. Uh, I could see this just being an absolute boat race with uh, Green Bay. Uh, tons of money on Green Bay. Everyone I see on Green Bay, sometimes the bets I make are based on just going on the idiot girls that all these sites pay to fucking go give info that pretend they're sharp and they don't fucking know what they're doing. And it seems like they're all on fucking uh, – Green Bay here with the points. So I'm going to be laying Stanford with minus 24 and a half. Touchdown UAB. All right. We got, we should be good on the spread. We got to go get that money line now. Um, did you find out what it was, Howie? Yeah. Creighton's playing at Marquette. Uh, mm-hmm. Creighton's plus three and a half. Marquette probably plays better on the road than they do at home. Um, I, I think they can actually win that game tonight. Who? Oh. Creighton. Creighton. I think Creighton. Beat Marquette, yes. Okay, so we're on the other side of that one. So I actually have Marquette. You have Creighton, so maybe that's the one you guys might want to fade yeah. or just pick a side whether you play. If you look at Marquette, are um, you taking the points? I am taking the points. All right, I'm laying the money line on it. Small taking the points. I like Creighton. Creighton has good guards. They don't make mistakes. And if you look at Marquette, uh, that's head coach Shaka Smart. He came from Texas before Texas. He was at Virginia Commonwealth, where he mm-hmm. took the Final Four. His philosophy is this guy will full court press the whole entire game, whether they win, lose, whatever. Um, he plays nine, ten guys. Uh, the problem is Craig's not going to turn the ball over, and they're going to get layups. And that's my whole reasoning for liking Creighton to probably win this game tonight. All right. Uh, another game I have here, I have Weber State plus five and a half. Small play on that. None of these are, none of these are huge plays. Uh, small play on Weber State plus five and a half, and a small play on Chicago State. Plus 14 and a half. This line has been crazy. What happened in this game, Howie? Why did, why did this line go fucking bananas? They, they opened up plus 22 and a half, and now they're plus 14 and a half. Um, Chicago State, who knows? Yeah, uh, I got I to gotta dig into it. Uh, I'll get the official. For those of you at four deep, wait to put that bet in. But those of you here, that's where I'm leaning. I'm going to dig in. We've been college football madness, me and Howie, for the last five days. So I haven't had a chance to dig into that yet. Uh, anything else you want to share, Howie, before we get out of here? That's it, man. Looking forward to this Troy State, uh, Texas San Antonio. That's going to be a wild one. Let's go get it. And tomorrow, we got a lot of money. We got a lot of max bets. We're going to be ready to pop tomorrow. So, uh, all right, Howie Dewey. Talk to you soon, brother. All right, guys. Later, my dude. Later. All right. NHL and NBA bets time. Silly Billy Rupp, what are you looking at here in the association? Um, I am doing a parlay for everybody. I've um, been really good in NBA, so I'm only going to give out one, and I'm going to do it in a parlay. Okay. Uh, Sabonis has been dominating. Please again, and, huh? Yeah, so points, rebounds, and assists. I'm going to lower it to 34 and a half uh, tonight for Sabonis. That comes out to about minus 240. And parlay him with Jeremy Grant, two plus threes for Portland. That comes out to about even money. So I love that. Uh, figuring Sabonis, you know, all you have to do is let's see, if, let's figure he gets 20 points, he gets, you know, 10 rebounds. And then that only leaves him to get, you know, five assists, and we cover that easily. So, uh, but he's been killing, like, he's been getting, like, 12. No, that guy's insane. 
He got 20 rebounds the other day. Yeah, 20, 17, um, and, 10, and 8 the other day. They're catching day on. They're raising his assist total. We've been hitting it at uh, 6. Uh, it's 6.5 now. Uh, if you want to do 5.5, it's minus 190. Um, I wouldn't. You know, you could put that in a parlay too with Grant if you want, if you just want to take the assist. But I'm doing points, rebounds, and assists, 34.5. And, uh, and Jeremy Grant, 2 plus 3. Even money. Let's go. All right. Cool. Uh, NHL, Bill, do you have anything in the NHL? I know you don't want to talk about the Devils. Uh, so is there anything else you'd like to talk about in the NHL? Uh, not no, many not... games, only only three games. Uh, nothing as of right now. I will be on the Bruins tomorrow. Uh, to, I didn't even know that they had lost because my I had hedged out of that parlay anyway. Mm -hmm. told me. But I will be doing something with them in a parlay tomorrow. But as of right now, no, nothing. There's only I think there's only like three games today, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. The if, wild, if, the wild is ridiculous. I'm never laying. The for wild's it. getting pounded too. See, I, so I like the way the money's not moving. laying four thirty. Yeah, now. you just can't. You can't lay four ten. This line opened at three thirty, Bill. It's been it's been pummeled up to minus four ten with only thirty one percent of the money yeah, on so the was wild. The Devils yesterday. Yeah. Well, no, it didn't jump like that. It was. It went, went up at least thirty. It went two forty five to two eighty six. Yeah. But I mean, three, was three, 300 when I got it yesterday. I'm looking at, yeah, I closed the 286, I guess. So it must have been, yeah, but I got 300. Well, I mean, you got a bad line. I wouldn't brag about that. What do you mean? It's FanDuel. Are you yelling at me? What? No, I'm not yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, though, I like the wild in this as a parlay piece. If you guys want to use it, I just don't, I don't have it. I can't get to it. It's minus two and a half plus 120. I'm not laying fucking anything close to that. And I'm not laying juice. What about the what's their, what's their team total and goals? Um, Fandle doesn't even have it up, do they? Mm, I don't think so. They don't. They fucking half the time they don't wait. They wait until after the game starts. Oh uh, no, here it is. Wild total golds. I mean, that might be a good one. Over three and a half minus one fifty four. Mm. Might be a way to get. I think they win this game four one five one. I think they. No, I mean, I like that too. Races. I like three and a half. I like. Yeah, that. let's put that out. E, put that down for me and Bill. Over three and a half Minnesota Wild minus one fifty four. You probably have a better line out there. Uh, I'm just looking at Fandle, so maybe it's maybe it's minus one thirty somewhere like else. That. Uh, let's take that minus three and a half minus 154 uh two and three on the underdogs yesterday almost went three for three i'm gonna give you another one today i'm gonna stick with these plus money dogs i like one plus 162 arizona against the islanders arizona playing at home i like the way the money's moving on this i like the way the line's moving on this 76 percent of the bets on the islanders 68 percent of the money's on the islanders and the line dropped 20 cents on the islanders rackets what's that mean take the other side take the other side so let's take the yotes uh plus 162 now in this game so a small step again you know these aren't going to be bet as heavy as the bowl games throw a half unit unit on these and then a couple units on the bowl games uh that moves us out of hockey out of nba let's do a couple raffles let's do a giveaway real quick e. give away one free week and one bowl package uh whichever one you win if you dm how they doing here bill what are they dming you what do they do with this for what for the raffles uh yeah whoever wins yeah mm -hmm. yeah so the dm bill all right, I'm so DM, throw the flag, throw the flag, throw the flag. They threw the flag. Let's go. At, at Rub45 on Twitter, and then I'll uh, get it all set, situated out. Yeah, so if you're already a sub and you win, if you're a weekly sub and you win the free week, you can keep the free week. You're going to get it in your account. You could use it in January if you want. Um, or you could swap that for the bowl guide and vice versa. So just tell Bill what you want, and we'll take care of you either way. But let's do a bowl guide and a free week right now. Have in hand. Go get it. Here we go. First winner is Casey Jones. Casey Davis, Jones. That's a, that's a name I know. Isn't that oh, a... They've the definitely Ninja won Turtles. before. The Ninja, Ninja Turtle? Turtles. All right. Casey Jones. All right. And Casey next... Jones has won a bowl guide, so you're going to make a million dollars. And the next winner is Aiden Peterson. Peterson. Aiden Peterson. From uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Peterson. Sloan Peterson. All right. So Aiden Peterson and Casey Jones, welcome. Uh, I only know usernames in the Discord, so I don't know if they're subs or not. But uh, free guys, bowl guide or free favor. week, you guys pick. Do me a favor, too. If you didn't win, don't message me and say you won. We're not stupid, guys. Like, we're, we're checking all the names. We're grown. This is stupid. I don't have time for that bullshit. Yeah, and we're going to And, you know, and it makes me just want to punch you in the face. Yeah, so it makes let's, me want to let's, 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 I don't want to punch anybody in the face. I do want to punch someone in the face. Um, You know, my arm hurts. I'm tired. Let's just keep it civilized. If you won, you won. Yeah, if you lost, shut the fuck up. We'll do another yeah. one. DM Rackets, and maybe he'll give you a pizza. DM Rackets, yes. If you want to pretend you're on DM Rackets. He'll yeah. deal with it. He's great with the customers. 
Maybe you delivery up. Rackets is very loving when you ask him stupid questions. He's the guy to go. <laughs> oh, Actually, yeah. Rackets and Rackets and Aber. There you yeah, go. Yeah, ask Rackets all your stupid <laughs> questions. <laughs> They're very loving. Uh, all right. Let's I think get I saw to in the chat yesterday that Aber uh, blocked Liss. <laughs> <laughs> I think Aber's blocked half the sub base. <laughs> So, uh, all right, let's get to the uh, the NFL here uh, this week. We're actually making great time. We're fucking flying through this, considering Good. all the covering. Great day to know. Uh, yeah, let's go. I got to get to my get my bets in for three o'clock. So, uh, we got the NFL coming up this week. Rackets. You got your Colts against the Vikings. We got some good games lined up on the slate here. We do have some Saturday games, which is nice. So we're gonna get three Saturday games. Finally, we've entered that time of year. I don't know why it takes all fucking year. Get rid of the Thursday games. Get them out. Stop getting guys killed and give us two or three fucking Saturday games during college football. Just give us a Saturday night game. It's the fucking dude care. You know, give us one game on Saturday. Move Thursday to Saturday. We don't need Thursday night football. We lose all our money. It's shit and the players get hurt. Uh, rackets. What do we like in the NFL this week? Um, but I'll still start off with the, the under that I like this week a lot. Uh, primetime divisional game, Sunday night football, uh, Giants and Redskins under 40 and a half. Um, they just played two weeks ago. And that was a game that ended 20 to 20 in overtime. Um, the Redskins are coming off a bye. Giants are coming off getting absolutely bludgeoned last week by the Eagles. Um, I like the team coming off the bye a little bit here, even though I should preface this by Washington went into the bye hot as hell. They went with six out of seven. That tends to not really be too good coming out of a bye. You kind of want to keep that momentum going, but um, the Giants are just, they're in shambles right now. I don't see them really scoring too much. Washington's defense has been good. I think this game stays under the total of 40 and a half. All right. Uh, silly Billy Rupp, what are, you, what are you first looking at here? What are you looking at? I, I do like that. Um, I just don't know what Saquon's going to do. I mean, I don't even know what the Giants should do with Saquon. Should they sign him? You know, should they give him a, a long-term deal? I mean, look at all these running backs coming out now. Like, the, the Jets are just picking guys up off the street who could run the ball for 65 yards. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, so what, what? What do we really need running backs that are paid all this money anymore? I feel bad for. I don't guy. do it. I don't do it. I don't want to pay running backs. Running backs are a fucking dime a dozen. You can find these guys undrafted free agents that can come in as long as you got a Tony line Pollard. that can block. That's what you say, oh. Tony Pollard. Yeah, I mean that's where it is, dude. The money's in the fucking line. Get a line that can block, and anyone can run behind it. So there's one game I really love. Oh, oh, wow. What a play. That was an NFL level defensive back play right there. I'm not, wow. I'm not really sure how I'm going to play it yet. I'm looking, uh, I like the Vikings a lot here, um, against Rackets Colts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the Vikings, you know, after that, that game, that crazy game last week where they lost, everyone was like, Oh, it was the line. I think they bounced back big here. Um, being at home Saturday, the first game, uh, one o'clock. I like them a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't really want to lay to three and a half. Because if you go to two and a half, it goes to like 190 or something. So I don't know about that. And oh, look at you throw up. Throw it higher. If I'm taking 190, I might as well just take the 205 money line. That's kind of stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Stupid but I'm definitely on the feet. If somebody uh, knows a nice parlay piece, I could put with that. Oh, with I got one for you. Um, but I'm on I, the. I got something for you. All right, well, what is it? I'm going to be all in, as you can imagine. Throw it higher, dude. He walks for the first. You made him fall down. It's fucking rule in college where if you hit the ground, you're down. It's so stupid. Um, Desmond Ritter week, ladies and gentlemen. Desmond Ritter takes the helm. Finally, Tommy G's fucking love child for the Atlanta Falcons. Max bet Desmond Ritter. They set this line at 165 and a half. They have no idea who this kid is. 165 and a half is a joke. I'm going to be alt lining this over 200, 250, the whole thing. But Bill Desmond Ritter touchdown passes is set to a half. And yeah, you can't really run down. that well on the Saints. It's minus 200, a half, minus 200. His, his rushing yards are high for that. They don't know who he is. They're treating yeah. him like a fucking rookie who's never played and they're making all his shit low. So you got one, maybe two weeks to just, that's it, first down. Let's go get a field. Uh, to to take advantage of this, Bill, just throw Desmond Ritter half a touchdown minus two twenty in all your parlays. Um, passing touchdowns, Desmond River Ritter. All right, yeah, so that comes out to plus one fourteen, guys. Yeah. So or I'm, or take the one sixty five passing, whichever one you want. 
What happened? Or to 165 passing. Yeah, yards. no, I like the touchdown pass. Yeah, you just need one touchdown. You can even get that in garbage. Yep. Yep, I like that. Plus 114, that's my parlay. Let's go. I mean, what is that play? Um, yeah, so I'm going to be betting Slam and Desmond Ritter. I want the over one and a half touchdowns for Ritter. Uh, I'll be betting that too. I'm going to have Ritter everywhere. Everything Dude, Ritter. I, you I guarantee it. you by Sunday that that moves to one and a half, guys. It's got it. There's no yeah. way that people. There's, there's right, enough sharp people who it's know that. Right it's at the good. brink right now as a parlay. If you <clears> 25, <throat> which is a great hit. It will move to one and a half plus money. Yeah. Um, like Dalton is right now. Yeah. It'll be like one and a half plus 135 or 140. Wow. But yeah, take this uh, to this over half right now parlay with Minnesota. And then have money for Sunday. Come on, snap it, down it, down it, spike the ball. What are we doing? Spike the ball. Money for racket. Oh my God, yeah. this fucking idiot. What are we doing? Dude, there was 14 seconds left. They just got a first down. They're at the line of scrimmage. I think you you can't a... run four plays in 14 seven. Spike I think the ball. A, I think that was a face mask. Yeah, yeah, that's great. He just fucking wasted the whole clock. Like, spike the ball. Spike the ball, it's 13 seconds, then run whatever play you want. He spent the whole time figuring out the play. You can't get four plays off. You're not even wasting it down. It, it's a free down. You don't have four. You can't get them off. Oh, geez. Either way, we're going to win the fucking bet, that's for sure. But we got fucking uh, UAB up four, one second left. Miami, Ohio trying to catch the plus 350 for us on this one. Face mask penalty at the 30. It's going to bring it to the 15, Bill. So we're going to have one play from the 15 instead of two or three plays from the 15 because everyone's fucking stupid. Uh, Yeah, so bet Desmond Ritter. I'm also going to take the Falcons here plus four and a half, uh, Evan. So give me the Falcons plus four and a half. Let me see what that line is now. I haven't checked that line in a while. Um, Hold on. Here's the play. Drops back. Throws it over the middle. Oh, my God. He got tackled at the two. Come on, dude. And we would have had eight extra seconds. God. Tackled at the one. You got to throw that back or I mean, something. Dude. What a joke. What a shitty way. Terrible coaching. Well, cash the uh, biggest bet that me and Howie had. Miami, Ohio, plus 11. That was a fucking joke. That was an easy one. So cash that. Almost stole the plus 350. Only had a half unit on that. So uh, the bull guide off to a great start. And the other game starting in eight minutes. Uh, I like the Falcons plus four and a half. I don't know if you're having me on that. Yep. All right. Uh, Rackets, anything else you liked? Yeah, I have a teaser this week. Um, first leg is Ravens and Browns under 40. It's a seven-point teaser on FanDuel, plus 120. Ravens-Browns under 45 and a half um, division game. We saw how bad Deshaun Watson has looked the first the last two weeks. I don't see it getting much better. Ra- Ravens run the ball a lot. Browns can't stop the run. So um, I, expect the, I, guess I expect that game to go under as well, even straight, but I like that in the teaser piece. I'm teasing the Bills down to the money line, and then I am doing kind of a teaser no-no, but I don't really care in this case. Um, I'm teasing the Cincinnati Bengals through zero from minus three and a half to plus three and a half. Even if they lose the game, I don't see it being by more than a field goal. The, the Buccaneers you, can't really score. Uh, the Bengals. Bengals minus three and a half moves it to th- uh, plus three and a half. Plus three and a half. Bills to zero. Yeah. Bills and to zero and uh, that under. What's it paying? And the ri- it plus comes one, down plus one twenty. Plus okay. one twenty. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say if you did both money lines, it's minus one hundred one. That's one of the parlays that I and have. And the Ravens under forty five and a half. Yeah. All right. I have yeah. uh, I have Bengals are my favorite bet of the weekend. I'm gonna have them in fucking everything. The Tampa Bay Bucks are a terrible football team. They're not a good football team. They're legit bad, and Vegas just refuses to accept it. Uh, and the Bengals are the best team in football right now, in my opinion. So nah. we're looking at. We Top five. Beat, no one's beating the Bengals right now. Mm. Right now? No. You can't trust Brock mm. Purdy to beat the Bengals. You can't. Mahomes, they, they own Mahomes. Now you're talking Josh Allen. Eagles and Josh Allen, they're beating the fucking Eagles. You think fucking Jalen Hurts can beat Joe Burrow? Oh, uh, they got no props for that game yet. Shit. Yeah. So we're slamming the Bengals and the Bills. Minus 310, minus 198. Get that look minus. For, uh, what we've been keep forgetting. Look Hold for on. Let me, just put, let me just finalize this bet. Minus 101, Evan. Bengals, money line, Bills, money line. Go, Bill. Look for uh, – hold on, I might have it here. Uh, Joe Burrow, 14 and a half rushing yards. I like that. Yeah, this is a game. This is a big game. Any big game, Joe Burrow. Joe runs. Burrow, 14 and a half rushing yards. Uh, if you want me to put it in, if I will. I do like that. I, can get it. I just need the line, like the juice. Yeah, uh, minus 120. 
right. over 14 and a half minus 120. All right. All right. Um, 14 and, and a half minus, I, one, minus 117 some, at Unibet. Okay. Even if by some some miracle the Buccaneers win the game, it's going to be on like a last second field. They're not gonna, like they're not going to. They're not going to win the game. They're not going to blow anybody out. The spread should be minus 350. They're not going to win that game. They're going to get shit stomped. Um, so I like that. Uh, also like the Jets. I'm taking the Jets here. Uh, plus the one and a half. Oh, stop. That line is crazy. Just all right. All right. It. So let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. Okay. Do we want to be fucking retarded or do we want to understand lines? Last week, the <laughs> Detroit Lions were a one and a half point favorite over the Minnesota Vikings, right? Okay. And we all said that that the, was bad. The Lions are the hottest team in football. <laughs> they were a favorite over the Vikings. They shit stomped the Vikings. They shit stomped the last three teams they played. The Jets are going back to Zach Wilson. Why is the line one? I'll tell you why. Because the Jets' defense is probably one of the best in football right now. Yes. And Jared and, Goff is one of the worst in football. And there will be a lot of turnovers in that game. Listen, if the Jets... The Jets, Jets defense the Jets, alone. The Jets aren't scoring 21 points. So they let's don't just need to. Way. They need to score 12 this week. If they can hold the, do- the Lions <laughs> under 21... <laughs> They can hold the Lions under 21, they'll win. If not, Jared Goff right, has not seen not a defense like this in a month. The Jared Jets Goff sucks. Playing. Don't forget, Jared Goff is a terrible quarterback when he has pressure. His road so, splits are real bad. Right. He, oh. Jared Goff is not the same guy outside of the Silver Dome or whatever the fuck it's called now. He's not the same guy when he has pressure. He's terrible. His his pressure split, we watched him. Like that team is chewed, it's Jekyll and Hyde. It's based on if you can get to Jared Goff, they're going to be locking them down. Fucking Jets win. Zach Wilson gets a W and back in a win column. And New York media is going to be sucking his dick again. This line uh, did and it, move, though. It did move. We were Jets were favorites minus one and a half. And then Zach yeah, but Wilson it's still only wins. one. Like this thing should be like. I mean, if Zach Wilson is as bad as everyone says, this line should be fucking six. So you should move fucking Jets touchdown. plus one and a half. Hell yeah, I'm taking Jets. But Jets win the game. Give me the money line. Give me plus one hundred four. Fuck that one and a half. Jets yeah. win this game. Jets win this game. Any other bets here on the uh, – I got, I got one um, that I love for this game. Been riding it every week now. Uh, Jamal Williams touchdown in that game. You don't want Zondervan night receptions? No. That. <laughs> on the, that's on the shelf with uh, the Devils. <laughs> that's the elf on the shelf with the Devils. It's going to hit the – You got to do that. You got to make a shelf, a fucking shelf with people you can't fucking bet anymore. I do have elf on the shelf upstairs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, I got elf on the shelf down here too. What are you, fucking 12? I have two kids. I don't even have Elf on the Shelf. Why do I have Elf on the Shelf? You're 43. He's cool, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Carry fuck, on. Why the fuck not? Just keep going. Um, Jamal Williams scores every fucking <clears throat> game. Right. Free money. Minus 110. Jamal Williams. Use some of that McCaffrey money I made you last night, guys. There you go. Is that is that fucking donkey money you got because of a fumble before half time? Um, we do have a fucking matchup of Jalen Hurts versus Justin Fields. How many combined rushing yards do you think this game fucking comes from the quarterback position? We talked about like, probably like um it's gotta it's be an odds boost. Like a boost or it's gotta be, right? I mean it's lined that game up. It looks perfect. funny to me sitting at nine. Like when yeah. do you ever see a nine? A nine is weird. That's a weird number. It is a weird number. You don't see many nines. Uh, there's nine in that game and nine in no other game. Um, yeah, so, I mean, listen, I, the Bengals. Just bet the Bengals a hundred times. I'm also going to use – I've got a good bet in the I'm game. I'm doing another one. Actually, hold on. I'm doing another one here. I'm, I'm parlaying the Bengals again. Uh, Washington Commanders money line, Bengals money line plus 124. Give me that. I'm, I'm putting the Bengals in everything. Uh, Bengals money line, Washington Commanders money line. Giants are done. Giants are washed. Giants are done. Yeah, so Shambles. Just, yeah, hit the Commanders. It's a so Sunday they night did game. Get a, uh, they did get a win yesterday with Seattle losing, so. Yeah, that's great. It just buys them an extra week Giants. before they're eliminated. Oh, I don't know. I will, I'm not, I'm not, I like it, but I'm not going to bet it. Uh, yeah. I, have a, I have a really big bet on this Kansas City game that I love, mm-hmm. but you're going to have to sign up to bet to get it. That's it. I got two other. I didn't even give my two big props that I love, so you got to sign up for that too. Uh, Houston Texans getting two touchdowns again. We'll see how that goes over this week against the Chiefs at home. You know what Tommy G's going to be doing. They're going to be in my – Almost made my teaser, honestly. 13-point teasers. They're going to be in my getting 27. Give me that. Defense is shit, so – Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Constantino, any NFL games that you like coming in you want to talk about before we switch gears to your core sport? 
A little chalky tomorrow, but I I can't see how a two-game parlay at plus 105 with Minnesota and Buffalo loses. I like Minnesota. I like Buffalo. I I love Minnesota. Yeah, get minus 101. Uh, So I like. I also, for DFS purposes, think that tomorrow is the Deshaun Watson breakout day, Mm -hmm. and I love pairing him with Peoples and um, and DFS against a a bad Baltimore pass defense. So that's what I'll do with that middle game. All right, he's had a couple games under his belt. If he's going to do it, now would be a good time. So Especially against one of, the, you know, one of, if not the worst, pass defenses, you know, and he yeah. needs a big game. Listen, the matchup's there. I think it could come tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I like New England, you know, against the Raiders. I just think they're a better team. I think they need the game. Um, I like the Patriots there as a slight underdog. Mm-hmm. I like the Giants on Monday night. Ooh, we're Lost awesome those there. points. I don't like um, Sunday night. I don't like the Giants. Is it Sunday or isn't? Oh yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. I, like um, I, I like them with the points. I mean, listen, even if they lose, but to me, four and a half is way too many in that game. Should be a close. I think that's more of a tease play, maybe. That's One thing bad, I forgot. Not a bad yeah. idea. Take it you know, why don't you go half. take take the Giants, get uh, eleven and a half, and put them with the Bills at even money. I'll tell you what, then. One thing I forgot about the Bills. Uh, there's going to be a roughly 16, 17 inches of snow during. I don't know about during the game, but it's supposed to start around one in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, and it's supposed to go right through until Sunday morning. So it and will the be one thing that will do is destroy any chance of Miami scoring any points since everything so they do is I like basically. the warmers last week in 70 degree weather. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, if that's anything, I, was going. I like the under in that game. Yeah, Miami going into Buffalo. And, I, and I think Minnesota trounces, you know, the yeah, Colts. I think Minnesota has been a little undervalued this year. And yeah. I'm actually shocked that that line is, is what it is. They have gotten no respect by Vegas the whole entire year. So, I mean, I and especially them, after, especially after everyone, that was a trap line last week with Detroit. Everyone jumped on that. People are going to be on the Colts a little bit. So, yeah. We're all on the same page here. So, that's good for the NFL. Tune into the roundtable tonight uh, at 4deepbets.com. We will be doing myself, Healy, Rackets, and Scarface will be on there breaking down every NFL game coming up this weekend uh, tonight, 4deepbets.com. Subscribers only. If you're a freeloader, sign up or go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, let's go to UFC. Mike, what do we got this weekend? Coming off a uh, Anything you want to talk about last weekend's card? And then let's talk a little bit about this. Yeah, weekend. I mean, for here, for the show, I gave out a three-fight parlay. One of them wound up being a draw, so it reduced to a two-fight parlay. So we actually hit Which it. Which was the worst driver. We hit our uh, free bet here on Stay Cashing yet again. And then for our subscribers last week, I went 5-1, and one, and we won 10.41 units. So it was a great week. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has been my first official full year, you know, with uh, every play being documented. We had 42 UFC events with an average of 10, 12 fights on each card, which is pretty hard to do over the course of a full year. And um, going into tomorrow, I'm up 43.05 units on my first ever documented year. So um, it's been a success. And I'm not going to play it any different tomorrow. You know, I'm going to put on the gas. And I like a lot of spots for tomorrow. Um, so we can get into some free before play. Before you get into it, I want to ask, because we talked a lot on Monday and you weren't here, about UFC drama, what we thought about the Patty the Batty decision, the non-stoppage in the earlier fight, the Ankalev decision, the UFC has FBI stepping in. What do you think about what went on last week? And what do you think the ramifications are? I said it's going to be a nothing burger. Dana will figure it out. Uh, Bill seems to think it's going to put UFC in jeopardy two, three years from now. What do you think about all this FBI being involved in the patty to batty and uncle of decisions? All right. Well, two separate issues, right? So let's talk about the decisions and whatnot. First off, I got to say, because you hear people say a lot <coughs> about UFC and judges, they do not pick the right. judges and they don't pick judges. the refs. You know, it's That's why I don't think they'll get in trouble. However, however, sometimes when they travel internationally, they do choose the judges. Now, to me, that's where it brings in human things. Like, if you're a judge, you know the UFC wants Patty to Batty to win, not Jared Gordon, right? Now, if you're playing ball, you might be the one when the UFC sanctions their own events in Germany and Australia and London and all the fun spots that they're going to fly you there. First class, give you $1,500 to judge the event. You're going to get a best hotel out there. You know, you bring your wife on your miles for free. You got a great vacation. So they know who the UFC wants to win. And it sickens me. And the one judge in question is Doug Crosby, who is a New Jersey guy. And I've had my run-ins, you know, with Doug about, you know, my fighters who he judged against. And I went up to him after the fight and asked why. And, you know, we debated it. But on Friday night at Bellator, he was the only judge that scored that fight for Sabatello over Hafian Stouts. And it was the first time in the history of MMAjudges.com where decisions that – any judge gave the losing fighter 5-0 
you know, where the fighter lost the round. Then he gets on a plane and he flies to Vegas and he's part of the controversial Jared Gordon decision. Um, you know, it's crazy. So he is under fire. He's been in, being investigated. Um, I, you most likely won't see him this week because I'm sure they pulled them. Um, but definitely a problem out there that needs to be addressed. And then as far as the FBI with the gambling and all that, I mean, James Krause um, has been under fire. You know, he's been suspended. Um, we were supposed to have a fighter on tomorrow's card, you know, that trained at his gym and then left you know, to be able to participate on it, but that fight's been canceled. So still a lot going on there, but another rampant problem, but that's in every sport, you know, as far as, you know, possibly. Every sport's got fucking shady shit going on in it right now. I saw a question in the chat there. Uh, let me see. Dan Daniel Rome. Daniel said, uh, I want to do the one month subscription. Couldn't find it on your website. Yeah, it's there. I just checked. Just go to go right to the website, click on join now, and it'll bring you to the three different pictures. The right one is monthly subscriptions. So you'll see monthly subscription 2022 bowl belt betting guide is included. So if anyone wants to get that monthly subscription, get it now for deepbets.com. You're basically getting $50 for free uh, on that. And there's no better time. I mean, this is going to take you right through January 15th. This is taking you right through the whole bowl season. College basketball is popping. UFC is popping. NFL, you're going to get the rest of the regular season, basically, in the monthly package. Uh, you got it all right there. And then uh, after that, we start talking about March Madness. So. Really, the bulk of the uh, the sports that are going on right now, this is the time to fucking do it, guys. So get in there, get that monthly subscription, and uh, the bowl guide is yours. Oh, free. Uh, Mikey, let's talk some UFC. Yeah, I'm going to give you two free bets, one parlay and one straight bet, and I do have a lot of bets for tomorrow. I really like this end-of-the-year card. But to start it right off with in the first fight, uh, Sergey Morozov, he's going to be a leg of our parlay. He's fighting Journey Newsom. I don't think Journey Newsom is any good. Morozov has a little pop on his feet, but mainly he can wrestle. And Newsom can't wrestle. He can't stop takedowns. You know, he has 100% anytime somebody attempted a takedown on him, you know, they put him down. And I think Morozov is the better, more complete fighter. And I think he's going to take him down and perhaps even finish him there. So I like him as the first leg of a parlay that we're going to close out later in the card with Juicy J, Julian Arosa. Another fighter I'm big on. He's 28-9. and nine. 23 of those wins are inside the distance. And of his nine losses, he's been knocked out in five of them and never been submitted. And he's fighting Bruce Leroy, Alex Caceres. And he's a fighter that's been around for a long time. We know what he's got. You know, he doesn't have any power, really. He has three career knockouts, and one of them was a TKO, like an eye injury. It wasn't even a real knockout. And the only real knockout he had prior to that was in 2010. So we know he's not going to come in here and just starch Arosa. And Arosa is a black belt. He's very good, very powerful, multidimensional, striking, grappling, wrestling. And I think he dominates Caceres. So if we put together, you know, Morozov and Caceres, we, I mean, I'm sorry, Morozov and Arosa, we get back plus 110. So that's going to be our first bet is a free bet parlay. Uh, mm-hmm. Morozov and Arosa plus 110. And then I like a straight bet here with a line I just don't understand. I think that this line should technically be more. I mean, Fakradinov. Um, Fakr. Yeah, I have I mean, nipples. I you Can guys, you milk me, Fakr? There's a bunch of the OVs on this card, uh, mm. including Saeed Nurmagomedov versus Saeed, Saeed Nurmagomedov against Saeed Yokub Kakramanov. So we no. have an Av versus an Av with each with Me Saeed and Bill are just betting the under. Saeed is Khabib's cousin, the first Saeed. Just bet the under. We have the Av <laughs> in the first fight with Morozov, right? We already have him. Then we went with Juicy J. I mean, that's a great name. But then we have... What if it was Juicy Job? Then we have Fakhradinov is going to be a straight bet. Uh, Hanat, Renat Fakhradinov. Absolute animal, man. 15, uh, I'm sorry, 19 and 1. 16 wins inside the distance. A beast of a wrestler. He has one fight in the UFC. He got five takedowns in it. And he's fighting Brian Battle, who's like an ultimate fighter guy. He's 3-0 in the UFC. Um, mainly a stand-up fighter, but not much in the takedown defense department. And I just think that, you know, Fakhradinov is going to rinse and repeat takedowns, possibly even finishing him, get him out of there. And they're going to give me minus 145 on that. So I think that that's way too low of a line for somebody who I believe is going to come in here and just dominate the fight with the wrestling. Um, so I'm going to simply lay the 145 as a straight bet. And that's your second uh, free bet here. All right. Give me a... Give me a second. Bill, you have any questions? We just had a, let's, I got to text ghost something real quick for the bull guide. Make sure it's updated. 
uh because he had updated his phone and he wasn't getting my text so uh all right i'm back uh bill anything on the ufc this weekend no nope. you want to bet all the obs or we can't bet all the obs because they're all playing each other there's too many to bet there's so many of them i mean there's one two a lot of unders three four five there's six six plus obs oh what time does it start on saturday Mike? how many of them have the hat Starts at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Well, our boy in the first fight that we're actually betting on, uh, Sergey Morozov, he wears – I mean, I don't even know what the hell this thing is. It's like a a Mexican, like, big sombrero married to a Russian thing. <laughs> it's uh, – I, I can't put my camera – actually, I could probably take it off. I only like the Russian. Like, um, what is that thing? What the yeah, hell? I don't know. I mean, that's an dude. interesting one, right? Yeah, oh, it's not the hat I need, though. I know, I know. I need no, that. I, I need that. I need, the, I need that. I need that. Animals. The perfect dead animal sitting like this. That's what I need. Yeah, the dead animals are great. When they were out on the head, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. All right. Cool. So uh, we got everything covered. All right, Mikey. Anything you want to share on your way out the door? You're gonna be using the bowl guide to make some money. Well, make absolutely. Um, I hit the first game thanks to nice. you and Howie Dewey. Um, nice the second game, I think you guys are on opposites. If I'm not, mistaken. we are. We're actually on the same in the next five, but this one we were on opposite. Uh, two different strategies. Howie's doing the matchups. I, I actually wrote in my write up that I was on Troy uh, initially, and I said wait till closer to kickoff, and the money just came flying in on UTS side, so I switched. Yeah, I saw over. that line flip. But so, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, get over to fourdeepbets.com. The month, by the month, you get the bowl guide for free. You get mm -hmm. all our UFC. You get the Discord. You get every sport. I mean, what a fucking holiday. I mean, we got three NFL tomorrow. We got college football. We got UFC. Then we got football on Sunday. Then we got football on Monday. Bowls all through the week. I mean, Christmas football. I mean, come on. Yeah. And tennis gonna, starts up on alive. New Year's. And tennis starts on New Year's. Racket starts working again. It's going to be awesome. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yep. We're gotta get one, gotta get my one last vacation in. Yeah, you gotta get the vacation <laughs> off the vacation. The uh, all right, Mikey, appreciate you. We'll talk to you later. All right, everybody. Later. All right, yeah. silly Billy Rupp. Uh, anything you want to say here before we get out of Dodge? Yeah, Monkey Knife Fight's doing ten days of Christmas. So go uh, if you sign up for Monkey mm -hmm. Knife Fight, you're gonna get a bonus today to use between four and six o'clock. Um, Where so, can they sign up for Monkey Knife Fight, Bill? Uh, at 4dbets.com. Sign up. Use promo code 4DEEP100. Where on where on 4DEEPBETS.com? On our front page. All right. Go, go right to the affiliates. Click on the affiliates at the top you get, on the header. Uh, you'll see Monkey Knife Fight come in there. You Bang. Click that link, and you're good. You get $100, up to $100 match. So you deposit $100, you get $100. Deposit $50, you get $50. Um, for all those who are slow in math, you deposit $25, you get $25. Mm. Anything up what to happens if you deposit $38? You get 38. Wow. Okay. So, cool. uh, they do have that. Uh, we'll be putting plays for that. I do have a play for soccer on Sunday for Monkey Night Fight also. So I'll be putting one out for that. And we're putting out for Saturday and Sunday football. And if you have any trouble um, signing up or want to know what Monkey Night Fight is, I'm not going to explain the whole thing right now. Just DM me and I will help you out. All right. So just go to 4dbest.com, click on affiliates, click on Monkey Night Fight, <laughs> and uh, get signed up. 10 days of Christmas. These, uh, the offshores do a good job with the Christmas stuff. The regular books really don't give a fuck about us during that, right? But like my bookie, Bavada, Bedak, Bedak uh, uh, Monkey Night Fight, they all do these like extravagandas on there. So it's a good time to get signed up with our affiliates over there on the offshores. Uh, check it out. Rackets, final words. Uh, round table, 9 p.m. tonight. Okay. Round table, 9 p.m. Evan, final words. Uh, we gave out 28 free bets today. And you That's guys an update on his phone. I don't know. You guys have any issues? DM Nikos. We're spinning. Oh, okay. We're back. We're back. We're, Here we we're go. Back. Here it is. Big winner. Tanner Nichols. Sticky Nichols. Tanner Nichols. All Tanner right. Sticky winner. Nichols with the dub. Next one. Michael Beller. Baylor. Michael Baylor. Oh, is that a sign? I'm betting against Baylor. Michael. It's like not Baylor, but it's like Baylor. You know? Baylor. Baylor. Like a, a short version of Beller. Wow, that was great. Just bounced off that guy's foot. Stuck him at the one. Uh, all right. Michael and Sticky Nichols. Go DM Bill Rupp at Rupp45 on Twitter and uh, tell him that you won. Anyone else who does tell Bill they won, they didn't win, uh, you'll never be eligible to win anything again because That's Bill right. controls the DMs and your message will be there under your last one where Bill told you, banned. So stop fucking with him. Leave him alone. Oh, Go. somebody told me on Twitter – to please unban them. You block them. 
Uh, yes, I block a lot of people because they're fucking annoying and I'm not unblocking anyone. <laughs> so buy a package. If they're a subscriber, we'll consider it. If not, go fuck yourself. Uh, I'm in a different mode than I was in 2020. I was like slinging swords, you know, and fighting the trolls. Now I just block them because guess what? Following me is your entertainment, not mine. So if you're bothering me and you follow me because you enjoy my, then fuck you. That's how I can fuck with you. Bloop, block. Bye bye. Bye, Felicia. And then they always come back. They always come back, Evan. They always come back. You know why? Because we're that fucking entertaining. For Joey Rackets, Howie Dewey, Mike Constantino, Evan Han, and Bill Rupp, I am Tommy G. Get over to 4DBets.com, buy the monthly subscription, get the bowl guide, or just buy the bowl guide for 40 bucks with promo code BOWL20. And if you have friends that want to buy the bowl guide, send that out to them. If you're a subscriber, you guys have referral links, you idiots, up in the top of your account. Go send your link out to your friends or people on social media. And if they buy a guide, you get fucking money. Money. Real money. Uh, so I already, got, I already got the message from uh, Why Aiden Peterson. Why would you Peterson? do that as I'm done? <laughs> Why are you doing it as I'm done? Crip walk. Because I'm literally I shutting the show down. Crip I was doing out. this. I wasn't allowed. I was reading messages. All right. I'm so here. what do you want? I'm working. I said final words. I can't yell at you. Final words. Mia, you can't yell at me. So I'm just going to beat the shit out of you right now. Let's final go. Final words mean last words. Let's Once go. you give your final words. You never, you never gave why, me final you, words. Why, your voice level's getting a little high. You never you never told me final words. Okay, Bill, final words. Let's go. All right. Good luck. Stay cashing, motherfuckers. Let's go!